Stay tall. Get your shoulders up. There you go. Jamie's a fast learner, but he's going more than 20 miles an hour. The water feels solid. I'm going to slow you down to the speed behind the rolling boat. 15 miles per hour. When Willie drops the speed, staying upright gets harder. Jamie, slowly sit down. Get in the squat. Sit down. Sit down. More. Sit down more. And straight. OK. Slowly stand up. Yeah. Get your shoulders up, Jamie. There you go. Very nice. Perhaps it's just fear of upsetting Willie, but Jamie is skiing like a natural. Turns out he's just as good on the rope. That felt pretty good. We did get it down pretty slow. I think we just nudged 10 miles an hour, which is, my guess is probably the minimum that we can really reasonably expect to stay up on the surface of the water. The slower you go, the harder it is. I do believe that both skiers you have here, Jamie and Adam, can do this. I think the only difficulty uh, that I can think of is to, for the crew to generate enough speed initially to get him out of the water. By distributing the load over the eight riggers, Adam will minimize the strain on the boat and the rowers. For the most part, these guys won't even be able to see this rig. It won't affect their rowing at all. $30,000 per boat. Uh, we don't want to put a nick in the darn thing. <laughs> that's the ski rope taken care of. But that's the easy part. The bare minimum speed required to pull Jamie out of the water is 10 miles an hour. In a race, a crew can reach 15, but Jamie's drag is sure to slow them down. It would certainly help if I weighed a lot less than I do. I weigh about 180, 170, 180, and uh, you know, if I weighed 100 pounds, and I'm sure it'd be easier on him. But uh, that's why we came to Stanford. Another problem for Jamie is, unlike a speedboat, the power here won't be constant. It will surge with each stroke, pulling him off balance. Coach has a strategy. You're gonna have to just do the walk-on guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just withstand the, the herky-jerky, it's gonna whip you. Yeah, I know, I've got him uh, damn it. Remember, for Jamie and Adam, this is just another myth. But for Stanford, it's a matter of honor. And just sit up, don't think length, think connection of hips and straight arm cable and draw. Let's have uh, the boat just tug him a little bit. Suddenly, Jamie's being dragged into something bigger than he realized. It's too late for second thoughts. This is about sporting glory or national televised failure. And there are no excuses. Explanations did not get the man on the moon and it will not get this Mythbuster out of the water. Okay? This is Apollo 13, baby. In Houston, we don't have a problem. Get ready. Attention. Go! Go! Quicker! Wait up! Ho! Ho! Hey! Hey! Stop rolling! If you're not pulling, stop! Jiminy Jack Christmas. These guys are still rolling. So close. He was up, but couldn't hold on with the surge. This might just be possible. Jamie, man. That was beautiful. It was working. <laughs> you think you can get it going? It's just in a state of constant, almost out of the water. Right. It's the hardest thing that a skier can do, I think. Well, you think you're good for another go? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Nice lock on, big dog. That was all you. That was all you. We got to be quicker with the second stroke or longer with the first stroke. It's just going to be up to me to maintain it, I think. Sam? Same thing that you guys just did. So, Jamie Big Dog Heineman prepares to battle the surge again. The guys in the engine room have proved they've got the muscle to get him up. He can't let them down. Attention! Go! Stay up, stay up. Come on, dog, stay up. Come on, Big Dog, stay up. Yeah! Go! Bring it up! Bring it up, boys! Jeez, we had him. It's close, but still no cigar. These Stanford guys won't settle for near enough. Jamie will ski 
even if it kills him. Power was there, I was having trouble dealing with the surginess. Try and put the weight back when that surge hits you, so you got a little more hip and power into it, because it's going to surge. Yeah, that wasn't bad for the first two runs, though. No, no, well, we ain't done yet. We're pulling your ass out. You're going to be doing this thing without a wetsuit and the beret and glasses on if I can have my way. <laughs> hey, pick it up, guys. Let's pull this boy out of the water. Tiny, man. That was twice That was twice as good as last time. You think you could do it twice as good as that? I'll keep trying. Just need, like, a good 30-second run. Come, yeah. come to the spear. Come to the spear. This is the third and final attempt. Coach can smell something special in the air. Stay tough, all right? Yeah. Stay tough. They're enjoying it. It's like you guys are right on the cusp of both meeting together at a higher plane. Looks good. I want you to put him on a ride that he won't forget. So once you get him up, <laughs> keep him up and make it. Let's get his let's get his skin tone a little bit fearful, a little white. Let's scare him. Jam! Jam on it. Let's do something that's never been done. Here we go. Attention. Go! He's up and he's skiing. Nicely done, Jerry! Go! Keep it going, big dog! Keep it going, big dog! From that boat! From that boat! From that boat! <laughs> it's not pretty. Jamie's fighting every surge, but they've done it. Nice job, big dog! Yeah, guys! Yeah! Nice job! <laughs> Jamie's run lasted nearly 40 seconds. I'm pleased this punch. That worked better than I'd ever hoped for. The fact that I could do this says that it ain't as ridiculous at all as we thought. Yeah, it was a workout. I was breathing hard after that. It was like, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Good job. Stanford's finest have prevailed and proved this weird myth really is possible. Never underestimate young, strong, Mythbusters. <laughs> <laughs>